Um, all right, Saturday boot camp, McLean Fitness. We have an email. I put e them, but it's because it, it, it's every minute. We're doing every minute on the minute as our warm up, but we're going to increase the reps. Okay, so you'll get in the beginning, and the rest, the rest will get uh, will be longer. We'll get shorter as we add a minute. Okay, so we're going to do two. Separate. I know. Judy's looking at it. Like, well, the first three are like my worst exercise. <laughs> All three of them together at once. All right. So every minute, another minute. This is an eight-minute uh, warm-up. Let me explain. So the first minute, you're going to do six push-ups, two step-ups on each leg, and the remaining time you rest. The second minute is going to be man makers broken. Okay. What do I mean by that? So we're going to start with two reps. It's two push-ups, two rows. Two push-ups, two rows. You pop it in. You do two clean and presses. I'm actually going to add a, two squats and then two clean and presses. Okay? Um, we're going to go all the way to five for those. The pushes we go from six to 12, step ups two to five. So each round we're adding either two reps or one rep. Push ups are the ones where we'll add two reps. Um, just follow my lead. I know it sounds complicated. Um, it won't be, but it'll get us warmed up because we'll start with less reps. Okay? Let me get my timer ready. Um, so a few EMOMs today, we have three. The other ones are just full minute EMOMs, five minutes. All right, so starting in 10 seconds, and we're gonna do six push-ups and two step-ups. I'm gonna grab my 25s for the step-ups, two on each leg. We're starting with six push-ups. One, two, three, Four, five, and six. Two step ups on each leg. One, two, one, and two. A little shaky in the beginning. <laughs> All right. I have about 30 seconds rest. We're going to do a broken man maker for two reps. You're just going to take each part, part of the man maker. And do two reps. Remaining time will be your rest. You still have 20 seconds. So enjoy these first, come on the first two rounds. Do it like a nice break. Then we'll, just, we'll start closing in that, that gap. So 12 seconds, we have two push ups, two rows, two push ups, two rows. Come in, two squats, two clean and presses. So we're doing the man maker now. Yep. Three, two, one. So two push ups, two rows, one arm, two push ups. Two rows. I'm gonna pop it in. I'm gonna do two squats. One, and then two cleans and presses. One, and two. All right. You can kind of try and get warm. While we rest, we have 30 seconds. Okay. So now we're gonna do eight push-ups and three step-ups on each leg. On each legs. <laughs> so Johnny, please, we have about 15 seconds. Eight push-ups, three step-ups. We're going to 10 seconds. Set up, five seconds. Three, two, eight pushes. Do you want to start now? You can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, three step ups. My wobbly chair. One, two, and three. Another leg. One, two, and three. We about twenty five seconds. Three. Broken man makers. New dog. We have some pyramid reps today, alternating with emails, and we got a nice little, um, I guess you could call it like a drop set. It's not really a drop, well, it's a rep set. Five seconds, we got broken man makers. Three reps. Three push ups. Three rows. Push-ups. Three rows. You're gonna pop it in for three 
squats. One, two, and then three clean presses. One, two, and three. All right. Twenty-three seconds. We have ten push-ups, four step-ups. We're gonna get less reps. Oh, rest. So starting to feel like a workout now. <laughs> How much of a warm-up? Going to five seconds with your ten push-ups. Three, two, one, two, three, Ended up being pretty hard. <laughs> We're moving on. We got a rep set. All right? One to five, and then down to one. Three exercises. 
So we're gonna start with one swing, one burpee clean, and then half Turkish get up. So we're just gonna do the bottom part of the Turkish get up, okay? So legs raised, arms up in the weight, you're gonna use the other hand. This is gonna be guidance. You're gonna come up, and you're just gonna raise your glutes. That's one rep, okay? Then you're gonna roll back down, switch sides, and do the other side for one rep. But we keep adding a rep until we get to five, and then we're gonna go down. This is gonna take a while. So I just need my um, kettlebell for the swings. Um, I'm gonna use 25 for my burpee cleans. And I'm gonna use um, either 25 or 20 for my T or Turkish gas. Wait, can you do the burpee clean real quick? Just yeah, so you're gonna pop down to a push up, and then you're gonna pop your feet in, grab your weights, and just clean to the shoulders. Oh, okay. No press. All right, one rep of each. <sighs> Might as well begin. Ready? One swing. So standing back, hinging. One swing. So it's really a swing and reset. Grab my weights for a burpee clean. One rep. So pop back, push up. Pop the feet in. Clean the weights to your shoulders. That's it. I'm going to actually do a 20 for my Turkish gun. So you're going to be on the ground. It's going to take more effort than you're on the ground. Arms up. I'm starting with my right. Right foot's bent. Left is going to help guard. Coming up. And just raising your glutes off the ground. And then rolling back down. That's one rep. Bring the weight down. Switch sides. So remember the weight and the leg that's up bent. Same side. All right, one to two. Instead of getting up exercise, <laughs> we have to do every time we go down and up. Two reps, functional, we do it every day, right? Two reps, two burpee cleans. One. Power it up, two. Focus on the core. And two. Alright, on the three. Okay, <laughs> One. Two. And three. Three. Burpee cleans. Sometimes three. Right down. Do the other side. One. Two. And three. Alright. On our fourth rep round. <laughs> Swings. One, two, be nice when we're at the fifth rep, right? Three, the peak. Four, burpees. One, core tight. 
two. Squeeze the glutes. Four and five. Five burpee cleans. This is not burpee clean and pressing. <laughs> Look at the positive. <laughs> for this exercise, it's hard. Three. 
And four. One. Two. Three. Last one. Four. You see the single dumbbell for that EMOM. You're going to use it throughout the entire five minutes. Two and two. Get in the core wrap left, okay? Get your glutes. One wrap to sit. One. Burpee. Clean. And one. Long wraps like do we even bother? We're two more. Last one. And come on down. Ooh. All right, carefully come up. And then we explain our five minute EMOM. It's five minutes. Every minute you're just going to change the exercise. So you're not counting reps. You're basically just going to keep doing the exercise until the minute's up. I'm going to use a single 35 for this. Um, so we're going to start with an alternating snatch. So just alternating the snatch, bringing the weight up across the body. It's a very good overall um, power move. Then you're going to take that weight and you're going to do a pullover with, we're going to work abs and do the pullover at the same time. So you're going to kind of drop the legs. So squeeze, drop. So we have the weight. How many of them? It's a minute. So we're going to drop like this. One? So this, you're just gonna keep doing it for a full minute. A minute. Okay. So everything's full minute, you're not counting reps. Gotcha. That's the second exercise. Then you're gonna come up when that timer beats, 
And you're going to do, you're going to hold a goblet style, and you're going to do okay. front loaded squat. So each one of them are for, five, for a minute. Yeah. Okay. And then you have plank drags. So then once you're done with the goblet, um, put the weight, I like it at my feet, starting my feet. You're up here, you're just going to come back, pull the weight up, and pull it back, and then switch sides, pull the weight up, using your core, pulling it back. And then your last exercise is a halo slam, alternating the halo. Okay? Fun stuff. Got it. Core stuff. <laughs> We're going to start with that. We're starting with the hardest. The alternating snatch. So I'm just going to take a shot of some caffeine, and then we'll begin. All right. All right. Five minutes. And every minute, just focus on your form. Focus on keeping that core tight. We're going to start in 10 seconds. Trying to bring that weight up, power a little bit from your, your full body. Three, two. So powering up, bringing it all the way down, and switching sides. So you're powering up from the ground. And then remember your next exercise is the pullover, so you on your back. Get a nice little break. Well, not really, but kind of. <laughs> power it up. Slow control. We don't need to go fast. We really want all of our muscle fibers to feel this. We have 36 seconds. And then we have that plank drag. That'll be a nice little break, too. <laughs> you said, ah! It's not. <laughs> it is. It's fun. It's a fun move. No, I don't mind that. 15 seconds. Squeeze the glutes when you come up. Keep that chest up and squeeze the core. Keep it tight, eight seconds. I'm gonna put my weight by my feet, get on the plank, and pull the weight, alternating hands up and back. Bring my weights back here, going into plank, kind of going to pike, to plank, and pull it back. And then switch sides. And a nice slidey. Slippy surface, which is nice. Keeping that core tight, we're going to finish with halo slams. Come on, halfway there. Christmas bells. Sounds like bells, doesn't it? Fifteen seconds. Make sure you have that nice plank. Everything's tight. Eight seconds. Hey, right. low. So weight comes around, and you're gonna slam it. This is a long time to do halo slams. 
plan. So really keep that core tight. You gotta protect the back. So we have about 20 or 40 seconds left. Squeeze the glutes. Feel your back too. I'm like feeling my back on these. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. This is it. Your last move with this mom. We have another one later. Using a kettlebell. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Ah, all right. Next set is basically upper body. So. A little bit of a break for the lower body. You're gonna do chest press with a leg raise. We're doing evens. <laughs> Sounds like dogs are fighting out there. Two to eight reps and then back down to two. So two, four, six, eight. It's a lot, but it's two exercises. They're not like super crazy. Because you do a chest press with a leg raise, so you're on your back. Then you're gonna pop up. You're gonna be on your knees. So have your lighter weights for a curl and a press, okay? So I'm gonna use 15s for that. I'm gonna use 30s for my chest press. So this will be fun, feeling some really good upper body strength. All right, not having to worry about our legs. 15s, 15s, okay. So I'm all set up. We're starting with two reps. So we're doing even down on this pyramid. So weights and lines up. Dropping your legs, dropping the weights, kind of like what we do with the pullover. I'm doing a straight leg. And two, slowly lower. And then I'm gonna kneel. And I'm gonna grab my weights. Curl, press, and reverse back down. Yeah. And back down for four. One, control. Two, don't rush it. Three, and four. Four, I'm trying to make this look pretty as I transition. <laughs> it's not that pretty. One, I thought it would be. So kind of curling up that rotating. Two, and getting that Arnold press, core tight. Feels a little different than if you're standing or like sitting. And four, so you are getting some abs, sticky abs. We're on to six. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Six, kneeling. Oh, Focus on each move now. I'm starting to feel this in my arms. Yes. One, my arms are whew, a little dead already. Two, three. Four. Oh. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> I hope I can get eight. <laughs> That's the worst thing. You're doing like a rep. Oh, you're like, like, I'm doing how six. am I going to do eight? I know. You're like, how am I going to do eight? And usually when I'm at like the, when we're going down, I'm doing eight. I'm like, oh, I can do eight. I can do six. You know what this is? Like? Right. So Your arms hard. get like tired. <laughs> so you start like, six feels just as bad as eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four. This is the peak. We won't have to do eight again. Five, six. My triceps are feeling this. Two, seven, and eight. 
weeds. Someone's slamming weeds. I know. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Getting caught. They were at Planet Fitness. They would like buzz me. No, they would. <laughs> they clonk you. What's the word? I think that is right. Clonk or something. Okay. Oh, okay. oh yeah. yeah. But they, this loud thing goes off. Because it's like you're not supposed Meanwhile, to be like, you're, okay, so you're throwing you're bringing attention to yourself because you clonked it. But then they're now bringing more attention. Ooh, this is I'm gonna hold that. Was that four or three? Four. four. A five. A six. Ooh. A seven. One more. We're at the peak. Uh. All right, we're on to six. Go back down. I made it sound like this is going to be easy. <laughs> oh, we just got up our body. Six reps. Fools, I fooled you. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Ooh, jelly arms. One, come on, we did eight, we can do six. Three, four, so you just did four. We should be able to do that four again later, right? Ah, uh, five, and six. <laughs> yeah. Shoulders will be happy later. I don't feel like they're floating. Ooh. We're on what? We're four. four. Right? Woo! Two more rounds. One, two, three, and four. One. Keep that core tight. Try not to rock that body. Two. Rock that body. Is that a song? Three. <laughs> Four. We got it. Whoa. I need to look and see what we got next. Okay, not too much. Not too much of the lower body or upper body. We got two. Two and two. One. And two. Give me two more reps in anyway. One. And two. Wow. Yay. All right, I'm going to switch out my elevator because this is way too high for me. I'm going to go a little light lower. So, because we're going to use an elevation for a lot of this. So, I'm going to use a count out. I'm going to use my 50 for this throughout the whole thing. So this is another five-minute EMA, and we're going to, once again, do the full exercise for one minute, and then switch when the timer beeps. We're going to start with a swing and a plank hop. All right, so I'm going to, first I'll go this way, and then when I need to use my chair, I'll go this way. Because then I'm going to go, oh, I missed an exercise. What did I have in there? All right, what we'll do for that one, <laughs> I know I had something on it, I totally forgot to, to put it. But what we'll do, we'll do this. Let's do swing, plank, hop. Then you do a clean, so then you're gonna come here and you're gonna clean the weight up and box squat, okay? Then we're gonna do a dead lift box squat. So what does that look like? It's, you're basically gonna start seated, you're gonna hold your kettlebell, and then you're gonna lift, and then you're gonna go all the way down. It's kind of having a little more of a hinged position, okay? So we'll do that for a minute. Then you're gonna put your weight down here, you're going to go plank, you're going to do a push-up, and then you're going to touch your um, bell. And then what we'll do is we'll do... Like um, a plie? Um, do like a... Oh, no, you're just going to touch it. Then you're going to be out in plank, you're going to do a push-up, and you're just going to do touch 
Oh yeah, a touch. Okay. No, I meant for the fit, a fifth X. Oh, touch. Judy's giving a Judy's giving a, a recommendation. I just like the plie. We can do it. I actually think I was gonna do something like that, and that would be a good finisher for that. So we're gonna do a dead stop plie though. Oh. Okay, I like the dead stop. So we'll just straddle, and actually, I might even just use my heavier one for that. Okay, so every minute. Changing it, or the ending is going to end with this Judy's exercise. plie because she wants to work in her thighs. Thank you. <laughs> this exercise always reminds me when Wendy hurt her face. Oh god! <laughs> so if you can't it's hop on the cowbell, on the cowbell, just play <laughs> hop behind. I have had two people fall on their face. <laughs> <laughs> like when Wendy did that, I was like, I I have nightmares of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have the right cowbell too for that. Okay, so play <laughs> hop. Oh. Plank hop swing. I know. I think, I think she was using like a small. So plank hop swing, but make sure you when you hop up, you're only hopping up halfway because you don't want to hop up and straddle because you can't really swing that way. You want to have a like nice little hinged position. Gotcha. Here we go. Five minutes. We're starting in ten. I'm giving you a nice little ten second warm up. I'm gonna start with my swing. All right. Going in three seconds. So you're gonna swing it up, put it down, hop back, and then back up. My knee is still a little wonky. I just have to be careful. I didn't really tape it well today, too. So it's like keeping that core tight, squeezing the glutes. And remember, the next one is a power clean into a box squat. So we're doing two full minutes of box squats. But one will be a power clean, one will be more of a deadlift box. Box deadlift? I don't know what you want to call it. 25 seconds. Squeeze the glutes. Fifteen seconds. And then you wanna have the chair behind you or elevation behind you. Five seconds. Alright. So power clean that weight up. And then sit. And then you're gonna reset. Squeezing the glutes. So my arms are sore because I was doing a lot of these power cleans in my like biceps. Because you're holding it in isolation. Keep that core tight. We're halfway there. And then you have the deadlifts. We'll start seated. It's probably the easiest way to do it. 20 seconds. Eight. And five. So start with the weight on the ground. Sit. And then you're just pulling it up. So you're lowering, like hinging like a deadlift. But sit, sitting just a little bit. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's, you're more hinged forward. I like these. And then you got that push up. KB, touch. You'll do two. Okay, so you'll touch, touch with both hands and then do a push up. So the weight should be between your feet when you're in plank. We're more than halfway there with these guys. So keep that core tight. Since it's a deadlift, you're gonna be hinged a little bit. It's almost like a dead stop too. It actually it is. <laughs> Eight seconds. Two more moves. This and the plie, or the push up and the plie. So we get your feet, going on the plank, push up, and then touch the bell. Touch and touch. Full push up. So chest should almost come all the way to the ground. Reach and reach. Use your abs. We're halfway there. If you need to go to your knees at any point, go to your knees.
Eight seconds. Plie dead stop. So straddling my heavier kettlebell, toes are out. Sitting down. All right. And pull it up. Squeezing the glutes. Chest up, squeeze those outer part of the glutes and the inner thighs. 25 seconds. And then this is it for this EMOM. Actually, we have no more EMOMs. Squeeze up. We have another pyramid rest set. 10 seconds. Three, two, all right, you're done then. Our rep set is you're gonna use the same weights for this rep set. So I'm gonna use two 25s. Yeah, um, so I'm gonna go one to so five. It's another long one, guys. One to five, one to five, or five back down. Um, but it's more of a fluid, so you're not getting up and down. All right, you're gonna go from a pike push-up I'm going to be on my waist for my pike push-ups. You're in that V position, and your head should come diagonally down. So it's kind of getting more shoulders. So you'll do one rep. Then you're going to go right into bear hold position and do um, two bear hold rows. Then you're going to pop your feet in, and you're going to do one clean and press. So then we'll go all the way to five, and then go down to one. So it's very fluid in that you're using the same weights, and it's kind of going from one exercise the next. Alright? Got it. We just have this. We're gonna have the timer. Okay, we're good. Yeah, but I see. The time it's just, it looks bad. It's a really I know. I have to do this. Like the at the end. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but look how many reps. It's not even a lot. Alright. Like, Grinch you stole Christmas. <laughs> right here. That was cool. <laughs> Alright. Pike. So down. Drop your knees. Row. Row. Pop your feet in. Clean. And press. And then you're gonna go back down for two. This is gonna be a little bit quicker than our last one. Drop your knees, two rows. You can alternate if you want. Pop it in, clean, and press. We've got two. Alright, we're on three. One, two, core tight, and three, drop your knees, three rows, two, three, one, two, three, three clean and presses. One, two, and three. There's my face. All right, one to four. Make those pikes nice. Okay, so head coming all the way down. Two, three, and four. There. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four clean horses. One, two, three, and four. Right. Run to the top. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, my arms are building this. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then presses. 
One. I'm thinking, oh my god, the thrusters are next. My shoulders. Three. Four. All right, we are going back down to four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Try to keep your core tight and also find that rotation. Three, and four. sure it's I guess you can call it a drop set so we have three exercises that we're gonna do and we're gonna need three different weights so I'm gonna use three sets of dumbbells starting with lighter to middle medium to heavy so you're basically so let's say if I have since my shoulders are spent I'm thinking I was thinking 20, 25, 30 for the thrusters. I'm gonna now do 15, 20, 25. So being smart, hopefully, <laughs> um, about this, because it's a lot of reps. So I'm just setting them up like this. So what I'll do is I'll grab this, I'll do one thruster, I'll come forward, one thruster, one thruster, then I'm gonna start from the beginning again, and actually, since it's a sumo deadlift, I'm just gonna, go heavier for the last sumos I can go a little bit heavier since it's on my shoulder so I'm gonna grab my 30s for that and I'll just put that over here all right so one 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 so let me explain so one 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 for thruster then one 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 for deadlift and then one competition burpee okay which is going on your belly so you can make sure I have some room here for that can I have an eight chef yeah um so I'm gonna move these out off my mat so I'm not on my mat um eight Okay, so then we're gonna do two, 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 two competition burpees. Then we're gonna do three, 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 three competition burpees. Then we're gonna go back down the pyramid. Okay, three competition burpees, three, 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 then two, 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 two. You guys got it? I don't know. Follow my lead. This is our finisher. So we're gonna start with one thruster with doing each. So really doing three thrusters, but you're using three different weights. Okay? So I'm grabbing my 15s, clean my shoulders, it's a squat, and a press. Never. It says one, <laughs> just one. Well, it's really free. All right. So press. Going to my heavier. Bring it up. And press. I'm going to go back. I'm just going back to my 20s. I'm going to do one sumo. Wait, we're in the middle we go now? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going heavier. Okay. Okay, so. Going down at sumo. Oh, and you can use a kettlebell too if you want. 
Going to my second set of weights for one rep. And then going to my heavier for one rep. If you have heavier weights, do what you can. It's only one rep, right? One competition burp. So I'm going all the way down my belly. And up. That's it. Now we have two, two, and two. So two thrusters. So down, press, down, press. Eight. Get a little bit clean there too. One and two. Heavier. One and two. I got two sumo. One, hinging, two, one, and two, four tight, protect your back, two with your heaviest, and then two competition burpees. your body. Two and three. One, two, and three. So we got three competition burpees. And then we're going to go down the pyramid. And I'll explain that because it's a little bit different. Just a little bit. Because we'll start heavy. One, two, and three. So we're going to go back to our thrusters, three reps, start heavy, and then go into the lighter weights. All right? So grab my heavier for the three. So three reps the first round. One, two, We're more than halfway now on this part. Two and three. Lighter. You feel like nothing. <laughs> really, it doesn't. You're actually triggering your body. One, because it's so fatigued. Two. Deadlifts. Start with your heavier for three. Remember, it's that wide stance. One, shoulders up, two, and three. One, two, and 
three. And after this last three, we do three competition burpees. And then we go to two and one, and then you one, two, and three. Three competition burpees. One. Thrusters. One and two. One and two. Lighter weights. Last round, one of everything. We got this. so important, especially they say in protecting you against COVID. So mm -hmm. take your vitamin D or get outside. I think our sun is coming out soon. So um, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.